Hey all, a uh, commenter um, suggested that I put up a, a video on what I do after I install Ubuntu. In this case, it's Ubuntu 13.04. It's still pre-release. Uh, it won't be out till April 25th, I believe. So I'll try to make this as painless as I can. Uh, the first thing I do is I open Control Panel, System Settings. Sorry. And I open uh, software and updates at the bottom here. And that's here. And the first tab, Ubuntu software, and it says download from. And uh, you can select from a list. So what I do is you select the other. And then go to this button here, select best server. And I'll go out and perform uh, tests for your connection. And select the best, the fastest mirror. I've already done that, so I don't need to do that. But you can. Um, and then I also, under other software, check uh, partners. That's not checked by default. After that, um, reboot your computer. And then uh, you can check for updates through the software updater after that. Or uh, I usually do a terminal command. So such as uh, sudo apt-get space update type in your password and that will refresh the mirrors and you should see the mirror that you selected after that I do a sudo and I'll just use the arrow key and sudo apt-get upgrade And nothing there to update. Okay, I made some notes. Uh, oh, yeah. ATI drivers. Uh, if you use AMD drivers, uh, this server here is what I use. So you have to put this in your terminal sudo apt get. So I'm sorry, sudo apt, sudo add apt repository PPA, and then this address here. Get update and install FGLRX, reboot and pray. Uh, then you'll have an, if you can believe it, the AMD puts a watermark saying unsupported hardware on your, uh, as soon as you, before you even log in, it's there. So there's a script. I put that in the description or a link to it. And, uh, again, reboot and pray. Um, one, th another thing I do, not always, is I do a D mess, D message, uh, that basically uh, shows you your, uh, what's happening at boot up. So again, open a terminal. D M E S G arrows uh, whatever um, you can call anyone anything anyone yeah sure you can call anyone okay M E S you can put dot text if you wish you don't have to you press enter and that will end up in your home folder so you press the Nautilus here if he's going to open he's gonna, oh there he goes okay and he, there it is there mess message and I usually do a control F and look for a warning. Or, uh, and then press control G to repeat the search. There's only two warnings, and I've seen this uh, before, so I know that's uh, nothing I do about it. You can check for like anything that says error or errors. Uh, that's normal. That's just a safety feature built in for the file system uh, when it mounts, so that's okay. And control G, and that's the only one. And any other words you can think of, like cannot or whatever locate and stuff uh, just to check to make sure everything's fairly uh, workable so this is what Ubuntu um, Linux basically sees uh, when it boots your system and it has all kinds of information so it's a good idea to keep this handy in case you know you need some technical data about your system you can search for you know if you have uh, Intel or AMD or NVIDIA, you can search for those keywords to find out what, what it's called. It gives you the address, so it's pretty in-depth. Uh, where's my... Uh-oh. <sighs> uh, Ubuntu. Date and time settings. Uh, make sure the dates... and uh, Make sure the time is correct. Okay? Um, I find that 
if you try to use online accounts or something from within the settings manager, uh, if it detects that it's there's you have your date and it's conflicting with another time setting on your motherboard, it might not. Uh, it'll say uh, incorrect time zone. Plus, you just want to know what the time is. You can customize it by just clicking on it. It's like date and time settings. Wait for it to load up. Go to clock. You can uh, check things like weekday, date and month, seconds, uh, monthly calendar, evolution calendar. You can uh, have you know events and stuff timed, which I don't need to. And then uh, under Software Center, I remove Amazon uh, and Ubuntu Music. I install Unity Tweak Tool, uh, Ubuntu Extras. That's all the codecs packages and stuff. Synaptic Package Manager, uh, just another way of getting software. Uh, you install Compiz Config Settings. Compiz is already installed. You just want to configure it. And then there's Extras you can install for extra animations and stuff, such as this, zooming in, or the transparency when I move the window. Um, and, yeah, a couple other things. Quake is an awesome terminal. That's uh, when you press F12. It's like a drop-down terminal. Okay, and you press F12, it goes, you can toggle between that. Uh, 7-zip, I use that for uh, compressed files, uh, say from a Windows system. Even if it's a uh, RAR, RAR file, um, it will open that, and if it's password protected, uh, you can open that as well. And a little bit of customization on the sidebar. Uh, so, you right-click on the desktop, change desktop background. And uh, I usually have the launcher icon size here. Adjusted to 38, and then under behavior, I enable workspaces and add show desktop, which is uh, here's workspaces, here's desktop, and you can have it auto hide and reveal from the left edge or top left corner. I usually don't bother with that. I, I wish they had IntelliHide, but it's not there, so I just leave that. And uh, what else we have? Uh, oh, yeah. Okay, so we open Synaptic um, Package Manager. There it is. Uh, this will require your password. And as I'm going along, sometimes, like, stuff that I install, I'll unpin it from the taskbar, sidebar, because I don't like too much on here. I can, it's easy enough just to search. So, anyway, speaking of search, in the quick filter box here, type in not, not a list. And... I'm going to buy an installed version here. And I install uh, Gnome Sushi. That's a, that's a neat little thing. We're uh, get out of this. Examples. Bungie Showcase. Uh, this is a video. This is, uh, this is audio. So if I just press the space bar, it'll come up and show the video. You can go full screen. You can resize it and stuff. Press escape and it's gone. You do the same thing with any audio. In this case is OGG, but it could be MP3, Wave, and so on. Um, Nautilus uh, Terminal, open terminal. That can be like anywhere on desktop. Open terminal on desktop, anywhere, from anywhere within your system. And uh, Nautilus Wallpaper, I find handy. Uh, say if uh, it's really, it's just a simple thing. Say if you have uh, pictures, wallpaper, you just right click. And won't well, let me zoom in. Zoom in now. Right click. There it is. Set as wallpaper. So this is kind of a neat wallpaper. So you just click that. There we go. Sorry about the stutter there. And now we just have another <coughs> wallpaper. I just cut off the internet randomly. Uh, what's next? Uh, synaptic. And then I do a reboot. Uh, sp uh, specifically for this... Uh, version of Ubuntu because it's not uh, out yet, just to make sure everything's okay. After uh, rebooting I do uh, go back to the control system settings and brightness and lock. I turn off the lock. That's like if it goes to sleep. Um, so you, I turn this off sleep, turn off the lock so it doesn't ask me for a password to log back in because I don't need to. Single desktop I don't need that. Uh, keyboard. Uh, cost Custom shortcuts, there's a couple. Um, X kill, that's built into Ubuntu. 
it's a it's a command, and so I just named it um, X kill, and the command is X kill, and I gave it a Control Alt X shortcut key, and that will close something any anything you open, like say if I open uh, this and it stops responding, I can press Control Alt X. You can see the little X. Well, I can't zoom in when I do that. You see an X here. The cursor turns into an X and just close. It'll close it. And uh, when I do that, it also killed Nautilus, and now I have no background. But <laughs> that's all right. We're okay. Uh, back to uh, system settings. I go to keyboard layout, and then uh, options, and uh, key sequence to kill the X server. Hit that little arrow thing, thing there, and uh, check the box control all backspace. What that does is uh, enables you to log out with a key combination. Instead of going, you know, log out, you just control backspace. And then if you get into trouble as well, you should be able to log out and uh, reboot your system if you need to. Speaking on reboot, I check for updates after doing this. And I reboot again. Uh, customize the terminal a little if you wish. I just uh, had a little transparency in the background. That's under edit up at the top here profile preferences and I change the uh, cursor shape to an underline I don't like the block it's like way back in the 70s when maybe early 80s <laughs> it just and I can't see what I'm typing I like to see what I'm typing background I just uh, set the transparency like I said here under background and that's it for that that's all I do okay moving on um, here's a really good uh, neat really good website uh, modify Ubuntu.com So let's uh, take a visit to that to that site, and I'll show you what uh, I like to use it for, I'm just for reference. And I'm kind of lazy these days, so modify Ubuntu.com, and just click to hide this message. I go right to the says terminal here, and I take this. Oh, bye. Okay. Even though it says 1204, it, this will work anyway. So it's this, uh, you open a terminal and type, copy and paste this in. I'll show you what that does. It opens gedit. And it gives you what you, they call bash aliases. So, um, for example, sudo apt get update in the terminal, you can just make it just say update or upgrade to install uh, new updates from the uh, from Ubuntu, and uh, you can do it all at once. Install ins remove something is rem search for a program. Um, it's just search auto remove, and then I have a couple of my own in here. So I, I, it comes in handy. Uh, if you find that it doesn't work right away, just uh, log out or type bash in the terminal or restart, whatever you need. Then I set up uh, the Ubuntu One account. If you don't have one, don't worry about it. Simple enough. Then I go to dropbox.com, install Dropbox. It's a Dubai in file where you just double click and install it through the software center. And I have a little script to delay startup just to... Uh, make the startup a little quicker and sometimes just make sure the internet's you know connected and then finally is I use clonezilla I have a video on that I'll put the link there in the description so you can see and what you do is you basically back up all the work you've just done uh, all the software you install the customizations and stuff so if something messes up your system you can get it back using clonezilla and uh which I had to do. Um, I tried out the Ubuntu, not Ubuntu, the GNOME 3 uh, beta 3.79.9 beta or 3.8 and nothing, <clears throat> when I logged in nothing worked. I couldn't do anything. Nothing would open so I got it back working with Clonezilla. Uh, tweaking, uh, you don't have to do any of this stuff but I do this as I um, grab grub customizer that's no, it's no big deal, but I like to have uh, when the computer reboots. I don't like to see like a whole bunch of different menus. I don't have it booting. I don't have Windows booting. 
off this hard drive so I don't need that entry uh, the reason it does that is because it has a program called OS Prober which will probe for different operating systems on your computer and say hey I found something but I don't want to boot from that anyway um, so I use Grub Customizer and also make the resolution smaller so I can see it um, this icon theme, theme I usually download and um, install it but uh, as of now it's the uh, they don't look right in the uh, menus uh, bleach bit that's kind of like a C cleaner C cleaner for uh, Linux uh, comes in handy be careful with it though uh, make sure you read all the stuff it tells you uh, unity tweak tool that's for like uh, like the hot corner so I do that on the top right and toggle this for the uh, workspaces or at the bottom show desktop and then bring the desktop back and then uh, comp is config system settings manager desktop zoom like I said transfer while you move and when you open a new program I like have it placed in the center as you can see instead of all over the place uh, media excellent site for this if you want to use FFmpeg and to record FFmpeg video and audio using that this site is amazing um, yeah it says up to Quantel but it, it works in 1304 and usually what I do is I take this I put it over here and I open a terminal and uh, oops I put him over on this side and uh, I just go through the steps so uh, Ubuntu desktop and you just take this line by line uh, sorry <clears throat> line by line just uh, copy paste press enter and then you, you just go through it so you know and so on paste and enter and this process does take a while especially um, when it uh, compiles FFmpeg but it's worth doing okay so check that guide out if you're going to use FFmpeg it's really 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 good for Ubuntu and then just miscellaneous media software Clementine's uh, pulse audio volume control a little more control over your volume <laughs> and input output pulse auto volume me meter sometimes comes in handy audacity for editing video audio VLC player to play videos GIMP for editing images Kden live handbrake for uh, video manipulation and a reboot after installing all that stuff uh, Google Chrome if you wish or chromium and then if you wish another clone using clonezilla okay so just one more thing I should mention I'll close as many is I install the uh, weather indicator through Ubuntu software center you just type in weather and you'll see it and you just customize it to your where you are okay so I hope that uh, was of some help to somebody out there and uh, you have any questions or comments uh, feel free to add them and as always thank you so much for watching and we'll talk to you soon Bye for now.